Hello everyone, welcomes back to Ilfo Corfix. With another tutorial after a long time. In this tutorial, I will show you how to design a business YouTube thumbnail for my client on Fiverr. I deliver the YouTube thumbnail to my client, and I thought that why not share the technique how I design a professional YouTube thumbnail for my clients. And you can also learn how you can also design thumbnails like this. This is a premium tutorial of my real world work, so be sure to watch until the end. And learn real world designing in Photoshop. And I was busy to work with, so that's why I wasn't able to upload videos. Because my YouTube is not giving me much amount so that I can continue my channel like before. But some people are supporting my work by joining my channel and also through Patreon. So I would love to shout out for them. Kendra Cox, Sierra, and Sunny Woodcock thank you so much for your support. And also this video is made possible for their support for my work. And if you want to support my work you can also support me a little by joining my channel. So that I can make premium content like this. And subscribe to my channel to stay with my videos. So let's start today's tutorial. Now we are here in the magical world of Photoshop. I have already taken an image for today's tutorial. Also, I download some images, if you like you can download the images, the links in the description. And also I remove the background. You can take your own image and remove the background. Now go to the file, and take a new document. Now take a 1920 by 1080 pixel size document. Then take the roller and make a guide to the document. Then go to the adjustments layer, and take solid color. Choose a blue color for the background. Then go to the toolbar and take the pen tool. Change the path into shape. Then follow my steps and create a shape in the right bottom corner. Take your time and do that perfectly. After creating the shape, change the color into blue. Then double click on the layer, and apply the drop shadow. Adjust the drop shadow according to your needs. Then hit OK. Again create a path shape into the left top corner. And also apply the drop shadow. After that, we like to add a white stroke around the shape. Make a copy of the shape by pressing Alt or Option. Then change the fill color into a non, then use a white stroke. Then take the direct selection tool, and adjust the stroke a little bit. Also, do the same with another shape area. Now we will add images in our design. Go to the PNG dollar image document. Take the image and paste it to the main composition. Now take your time and adjust the images of the dollar. Make some copy and adjust them properly. Do that like me, or you can do as you like. After that select all the layers, and merge the layers. Then change the blending mood into multiply, and decrease the fill. Then go to the adjustments layer, and take solid color. Use black color. 
then select the layer mask, take the brush tool and create a vignette type color. Then change the blending mood into multiply. After that, we will add our model. Go to the model layer, take the image, and paste it to the main composition. Before anything, I would like to select all the background elements and create a group to organize the files. Then make the image size smaller, and place it perfectly. Then double click on the image layer, and apply a stroke. Use 20 pixel stroke, to hit apply. Next, we will add a border to the thumbnail. Go to the toolbar, and take the rectangle tool. Apply the shape in the composition. Then change the fill color into a non, change the stroke mood inside. Use white color, and then take 20 pixels. After that press Ctrl or Command plus J to make another copy. Then make the size smaller to create a frame like mine. Take the model layer back to the frame. Now I will add some small elements into my design. You just follow my step to create these small elements into the design. Just follow my steps. These elements are very easy to create and use in the design. And these elements make the design more eye-catching. Do it exactly like me and follow my steps. After adding the elements, we would like to add text into our design. Add all the information text into the thumbnail. Adjust the size according to the text. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to open free transform. Make the text size bigger. Then press Ctrl or Command on your keyboard and make an angle to the text. Again adjust the text a little bit. Now you can see we are almost done. For the final, we will add a layer style to the text. Double click on the text layer. Then apply the gradient. Adjust the gradient according to your needs. I will go with a yellow and orange gradient. Then apply a stroke to the text, take 10 pixels, stroke. Then apply a bevel and emboss. Change style into stroke emboss, and adjust the effect perfectly. Then apply the outer glow, and adjust the outer glow perfectly as you want. Then hit OK. Next, press Alt or Option on your keyboard, take the effect, and paste it to the other texts. Again adjust the effect, and increase the stroke size, and also adjust the effect a little bit. Hit OK. Adjust the text effect according to the size. Again I would like to add more text. Press Alt and click and drag to create a copy. Then add another information in the design. Adjust the text effect according to your needs.
For the final, we will organize the layers by creating groups. Also, I will add some contrast to the model image. Now we are done. You can see we create our professional business thumbnail for our YouTube videos. If you like you can adjust and make the design more good looking by adding some lighting to the design. Now let's see the final design. Now, I just show you all the tips and tricks to create professional business YouTube thumbnails in Photoshop. I tried to show you my process of creating a business YouTube thumbnail for my clients. I hope that you like and learn something new. And if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments section below. And thank you so much who are supporting my work. You can also do support my channel by joining my channel or through Patreon. It will motivate me to keep making new content for you. And share my all premium resources for my channel members. You can download this thumbnail also other premium designs by joining my channel. So hoping that everyone will support my work. And thank you so much for watching until the end. Share the tutorial with your friends if you like the video. And also hit the like button, and leave your comments down below. And that's it for today see you in my next tutorial. Till then, bye. And the most important thing.